Midwest number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, Des Moines, and across the country via the Schrock Desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks. Welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. 402-558-1110 is the number to join us live on the program this morning. If you're outside of the Omaha metro area, don't worry. We'll pay for the call for you. 888-250-2091. 888-250-2091. we got a lot to do on the show today and only an hour to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. If you missed the show last week, um, you can find all of the previous shows and as well as the aftershocks. And guys, last week was like a three hour aftershock. So it's all that's up on the website at shrockinnovations.com. Click on radio show. You can see all the, the shows there, aftershocks, videos, all that stuff. But last week on the program, we covered some some of the just absolute garbage deals that were out there for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, especially in the tech arena. Um, it was it was junk. Let, let me give you an example. The, the best deal that I found for Black Friday is something that I wouldn't sell to you. But I bought for myself, but I wouldn't sell for you. I wouldn't sell it to you. So I do a lot of crypto stuff and there are different coins and different ways things work and everything. And one of the one of the coins I'm playing around with is a storage based cryptocurrency. So you need a lot of hard drives for that, right? Hard drives, especially big ones though, are kind of expensive. I mean a 20 terabyte hard drive is like three hundred dollars. So if you want to get, you know, like 20 of them, I mean, that's a lot of money. Well, guess what? On on Cyber Monday, I was able to scoop up an unbelievable deal. 18 terabyte hard drives refurbished for $175 a piece. That's right, folks. On Cyber Monday for Christmas, I bought used hard drives and I got a great deal on some used hard drives. Is that what is that what we've come to? <laughs> it's like great deals on used items. Oh my goodness! I mean, my wife did find a really nice uh, 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 blouse on Poshmark the other day. You know, that's a online marketplace where you can buy and sell clothes. Uh, usually, usually nicer clothes or clothes. You know, that when you buy a shirt and you still have that, you go through your closet and you've changed sizes either up or down, and you still have a shirt with tags on it. And you're like, I never even wore this. That's the stuff that sells at Poshmark. But anyway, I digress. So we went over all the garbage deals that were available on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I hope you didn't fall for too many of those. Uh, we also told you about how China managed to evade sanctions on their uh, chip processing to domestically build a 7 nanometer chip onshore in China. How were they able to do it? We told you exactly how it was do it, and it was the Dutch. Those Dutch. Dutch. They're always in the middle of all the nasty things. I bet they're laundering money for Iran, too. Oh, no, wait, that was Binance. Um, so anyway, we told you how that was happening. Uh, we also covered the drama that was a couple weeks ago with Sam Altman and OpenAI, the CEO of OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, where the board fired him and didn't give a reason. Like the, <laughs> This company is like the most successful AI company on the planet, and the board's like, yeah, yeah, you're done. <laughs> Just like Steve Jobs, you're out of here. Um, and then like 48 hours later, the board resigned and they rehired Altman back. Um, the board fired themselves and hired him back. I don't know. I mean, it was pretty crazy stuff. So we told you what some of the uh, the kind of spooky AI stuff that's going on that uh, may have led to his you know initial dismissal and then you know rehiring. Uh, also, I mentioned we had an aftershock. It was the longest aftershock we have ever done. I was away for two weeks on vacation. I felt bad because you know you guys hadn't had any aftershock. So we made up all the missing time. Literally, we did like a total of four actual contiguous hours of radio last week for you. So it's all available, schrockinnovations.com. You can check it out there at your convenience. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. Coming up on the program today, we got quite a bit going on here. Um, <laughs> I, I've got some fun, a funny story to share with you that it, it's so fresh. I don't have all the details, so I'm going to have to fill in the blanks a little bit with what I think probably happened. So if some of these details are not 100% correct, don't worry. You know, we'll fill in, we'll, we'll fix it up later, but I got a funny story to tell you uh, about the holiday special in the Papillion service center that happened just yesterday. Um, also coming up on the program, uh, tons of stories out there about how artificial intelligence, AI, is going to end the world. It's going to take your job. It's going to take your car. It's going to take your dog and your girlfriend and leave you with nothing. But 
It all starts with snacks, and we'll explain that one coming up on the program. Also, uh, Drive Advisor. Last week, I told you we were going to give you an update on Drive Advisor, but we kind of ran short on time. We had a lot of callers, and it's more important to get the callers in than talk about Drive Advisor. Uh, so, I want to give you the update on that. We're hoping to release that here in the next week. Um, so I wanted to tell you what to expect when that is released, how that's going to impact you, and how that's going to get onto your computer there. So we're going to talk about that. Also, for those of you who use iPhones or uh, iPads, iOS devices, there is a new operating system update, 17.1.2. We're going to go into the details about what that is. If you can't stick with us through the program because you're on the way to church or whatever, long story short, there's an update. You need to install it like while the sermon's going on. You know, you can just start it. You don't need your phone during the sermon anyway. You can start it installing, put it in your pocket, forget it exists. But yes, there's another update for iOS that you need to install on your device. All right. So as, as many of you know, the, the holiday special is in full effect over in the service centers. And we start with 300 laptops and 300 desktops. And the response to this year's holiday special has been, well, it's been record breaking. It's been as far as Shrock. We've been around for 25 years, and that's why this is the silver anniversary holiday special. But the uh, the holiday special this year, the laptop is three times faster than the laptop was last year. It is a phenomenal speed jump. Um, the desktop literally has double of everything from last year's holiday special: double memory, double hard drive, double processing speed, l- literally double everything. Um, so it's no surprise, you know, and the price is the same. What else in this world have you gotten? I just read a huge story the other day about shrinkflation, about how it's screwing with the way people cook for the holidays. Because when you go to get a recipe and it says use like one box of cake mix, well, the cake box used to be 16 ounces of cake mix and now it's 13.75. So your recipe comes out wonky because your ingredients aren't proportioned correctly because instead of telling you the actual measurement, they said use a box of this or use a stick of that or you know use one package of this. Well, the packages got smaller. Everything you know, it's either shrinking or you're getting you're getting less for what you what you're paying for. We went over in the aftershock about how you know my wife and I went to Disney World with the kids and you know we got exactly what we paid for. You know every every expectation was met, but not a single expectation was exceeded. And that's not how Disney used to be. And that's part of the problem with Disney right now is they're not exceeding the expectations of their customers. And as a result, you know, they're no different than going to Worlds of Fun where you get what you pay for and you're not wowed, you know, whatever. Or Universal where you get what you pay for and the staff is generally rude, but, you know, you're not wowed. You expect it, you know, at that point. Um, You just, yeah, it is what it is. So (laughs) in the service centers, we want to make sure we have the best possible service. And one of the ways that we do that is we employ the use of secret shoppers. Um, My ops manager, uh, Parker, will call a friend or family member, somebody he knows, and say, listen, hey, or he'll find somebody he knows that that needs a copy of antivirus or needs a copy of Secure Update or they need something on their computer. They need a maintenance checkup, whatever. And he'll say, I'll tell you what, you bring it into the shop and, you know, we'll do a maintenance checkup on it. We'll throw on a copy of Secure Updater for you. But I want you to ask these specific questions and I want you to be looking for these things. And I want you to tell me if the staff, whoever you dealt with and tell me who you dealt with, did the following things. You know, it's almost like a spot check. So we send in a secret shopper into Papillion last night with a computer to get a maintenance checkup and a security check and probably put a virus on it for her before it went in to make sure that the guys caught it, you know, that, that kind of stuff. And that customer ended up leaving the service center with a holiday special desktop. Now, this was a cause for alarm, you see, because we'll give you the maintenance checkup when you're a secret shopper. You don't, you pay for it, but then we reimburse you. And we'll give you like a copy of Secure Updater. So you pay for it because it would be fishy if you didn't pay for it. Then they would know you're a secret shopper. And then we reimburse you. And I'm like, Parker, did you give this customer a holiday special? <laughs> like That might be, you know... <laughs> It might be a little much. It's a $1,600 computer. I mean, we didn't raise the price this year. We can't afford to give a bunch of them away, okay? You know, uh, and so, you know, he's like, no, 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 no. You know, she's not going to ask you to Venmo her 1600 bucks back. You know, no, this customer came in with what was free service on her existing computer. And the guys looked at her computer and said, this computer is near the end of its life. Um, And we can definitely do these things for you. We can maintenance it. We can put the, you know, we remove the virus. We can do all this stuff. You're going to spend like $300 on this. But this is a computer you're only going to use for another year before you throw it away at most. I think it would be better in this situation if you took that $300 and put it into a different computer. And so she said, okay, well, what do you have for computers? If 
following the script. Tell me about your computers. And the guys are like, you know, we have you know, our modular computers, our solid state laptops. They're all great. It is this, this. If you're looking for the best value for the dollar that you spend right now, though, that's the holiday special. And let me tell you about the holiday special. It's literally a ridiculous amount of everything, more than you'll ever need, which means the computer, this computer lasted you like three years. A holiday special will last you like 10 years because it's so much more. They, you know, they, the whole script, they went through everything. They told her everything I've told you on the radio. And she ended up buying a holiday special herself. Somebody who was coming in as a secret shopper with a, with a free pass to, to get security software, maintenance, everything done to her computer. So in her, my guys were saying, well, I'm not sure I would spend $300 on this if it was me. Well, she isn't spending $300 on it. She's getting it for free, but they don't know that. And she buys a holiday special anyway because it's that much of a value. That's why we only have roughly 50 holiday special desktops out of 300 and 50 laptops out of 300 left. Un, just un, I was looking at the sales numbers, guys, from November last year and December last year, and it, it we're just we're exploding the chart. It's a hockey stick graph in the, the demand for not just holiday specials. This is what was surprising. Yesterday, you know, I put in an order for parts because, you know, we have to buy new things to replenish the things you guys buy. And then, okay, I, I did my order. I'm done for the day. And an order for an Intrepid comes through. And I'm like, okay, that's just one. That's fine. Then another one comes through. Then an Endeavor. Then a couple Gallants. And I'm like, uh, if I don't put in another order, we're going to run out of computers. And we're getting to the point where we can't build them fast enough. And we have guys going out on vacation for Thanksgiving. We're like, Colin, please come back. We need you to build computers, please. You know, Jacob, build them faster. What do you mean you only got four done in a shift? Come on. <laughs> you know, we're like, move the assembly line faster. You're not unionized. We can do this. You know, <laughs> you know, whether you're in a union, you, you can't just speed up the assembly line. The union doesn't like that. So, you know, we, <laughs> we go through all these things trying to get the computers built for you. But we are selling computers so quick. And what changed from last year? Now, the, you know, the holiday special, we can explain that. But why is it that all of the solid-state laptops, and, I mean, we're, start, we're talking computers starting at $600, going all the way up to, you know, $1,300 ventures and $1,600 holiday specials are selling at two or three times the rate they did last year. We didn't raise our prices, guys. Everybody else did. Number one. Number two, we upgraded all the technology in our computers this year. So the hard drives got faster. They all went to Gen 4 hard drives. Um, the, the memory got faster. The processors all got faster. We added backup drives to the Gallant and the Venture that come standard with it now. Um, all these little extra things, you are, you're actually getting more computer for what you're paying for it than what you were a year ago. And it leads me to the the central belief when I'm looking at Black Friday and Cyber Monday and everything else that's going on, that people want to buy gifts or for themselves, for other people, meaningful gifts that are, that are going to be used and enjoyed. And they want good value. So when you put a bunch of Black Friday garbage and throw it up against the wall, used hard drives and whatnot, some of that's going to sell to people like me who can tolerate a bad hard drive if it happens. But for no, the normal average user, you, you guys... You don't really appreciate it when your hard drive goes bad and, you know, you got to spend three, 400 bucks to have it replaced and cloned and all that other stuff. By the way, the clone ain't going so good on the hard drive I have at home. I had one fail on me. It happens to me too. Drive advisor fires up and says, your, your hard disk, your C drive on this computer is at 27%. Went from 100% to 27% in an afternoon. What? I'm trying to clone that right now and it's not going well. I might have to send it into data recovery. This is going to be embarrassing. Luckily, I know a guy in data recovery, so I can we'll, we'll get it taken care of. But uh, long story short, it's people are looking to spend money on things that are valuable. They're looking to spend money on things that are uh, economical and good, good deals that are going to last. They're willing to spend for quality over quantity, and that's different this year. When you see the Black Friday numbers reported, and they're like, oh, Black Friday sales, it was amazing. They're up like 4 or 6%. Foot traffic was up. Sales are up. Yeah, sales are up because the prices are up. If you look at the nominal prices and you adjust for inflation, we've had 30, guys, I saw the stat from 2020 to today, we've had 30% price inflation across the board. Now, I'm not talking about the government numbers where they take out everything that you normally buy and say, oh, you know, kids' toys and they've come down in price and oil and energy and food and everything else went up dramatically. But look, all the cheap garbage came down in price, so it averages out, right? No, it doesn't because you have to buy the energy and you have to buy food. You don't have to buy cheap kids' toys. Well, when you 
take a look at what people are spending money on from 2020 to 2023. It's a 30% price increase. So if you're paying 30% more for stuff through shrink, you know, various means, shrinkflation, price increases, all those other things, you, you're looking for deals. You're looking for a real deal. And that's what the holiday special is. And that's the kind of stuff that when you're buying a laptop and, you, and you, you're buying an HP or a Dell and you expect it to last 18 months, well, you expect it to last longer, but they expect it to last 18 months. If you get more than 18 months out of it, you're kind of you're kind of uh, you know, screwing the man over a little bit, if you will, because they, they expect it to last 18 months. You expect it to last five years, of course. You know, <laughs> Something, Something's got to give. Well, when you get a computer from Schrock, it does last four to six years. The holiday special lasts 10 years or more. And we've been around long enough to document that. It's not like back in the old days where they'd have said, how do I know you're going to be in business in five years? Well, you know, we've done it a few times, so we're, we're good to go now. We can point at our history and say, look at that. Um, so if you're in the market for a computer, if you're in the market for some technology for the holiday season for your family and you, or for yourself even, and you want to get a good deal, you want to get something that is going to be a good piece of technology that lasts, yes, the holiday special is amazing, but if you're not looking to spend $1,600 on a computer, we have a full assortment of stuff at Schrock. Now, yes, I'm getting a little concerned because we only have like, you know, 50 laptops and 50 desktops left for the entire month of December, the month where we sell more computers than any other month of the year. And uh, so, yeah, maybe maybe you shouldn't buy a holiday special right now. Maybe you should buy an Intrepid because I don't have a lot of holiday specials left. When they're gone, they're gone. Um, so you can check it out if you want to look at the video. There's a 360 video, uh, pictures, the whole bit, up at schrockinnovations.com. You can take a look at everything there. Of course, we have display models in the service center that you can look at there as well, um, the whole bit. So uh, look forward to seeing you there. But I, I thought it was pretty hilarious that the secret shopper ended up buying a holiday special, and you know we don't have to reimburse it. So that's, that's the good news there. 402 558 Two five zero two zero nine one. Before we go into break, I want to welcome everybody on Facebook. We are broadcasting live at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Thank you for the uh, comments and everything here. I'll make sure we get, uh, uh, we'll get to everybody here during the commercial break. But we are testing out a new program. We were invited by Facebook uh, because of you, because of your interactions with the content that we're posting on Facebook, namely this show uh, and the After Schrock, to participate in a monetization program. Because, uh, you know, Facebook has this thing where you can set up a subscription, kind of like a Patreon, where you pay an X, X amount of dollars a month and you get access to exclusive content. I've never been a big fan of that because we already do the Aftershock, so I almost feel like I have to take something away from you and then sell it back to you. And it's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of greasy. I don't like it. Um, so Facebook has launched a new program where basically the company is monetized. They say they're going to pay us based on the reach of our content, how many people watch it, which is understandable. Also based on how many likes, comments, and shares our content gets and the minutes watched. So that they don't tell us is how much they're going to give us for all those things. So we could literally work our butts off and get like a 10 cent payout, or it could be something that's a lucrative thing that we could actually create a lot more content for the Facebook page, uh, exclusive content for Facebook that you know, we don't have to sell to you as a subscription because just you watching it gets us paid. And so then we can justify hiring a videographer and doing all the, the video content, and everything we want to do on, on Facebook. So I want to do an experiment today and I need your help to do it. If you're watching on Facebook right now, please click like on every comment. Please share the, the broadcast with your network so that other people can find it. So we get a larger reach. And please make sure you leave at least one comment somewhere in the Facebook stream. Um, if you do those things for us, we'll be able to gauge exactly what does Facebook have in mind here. Is this something that is going to be not worth the effort? Where we should just keep doing what we're doing? Or is this worth something where we should maybe create some additional content, some cool videos and things like that from the service center of things that maybe are ordinary to us but look pretty cool when you, when you film them, I guess. Um, you know, like let's light a surge protector on fire. How much energy can you put through a surge protector before it actually catches on fire? That could be like, like a Mythbusters thing. That'd be kind of cool to watch, right? Um, so we could do some videos and stuff like that. It's just right now faced with, you know, we have to build all these computers, guys, uh, or we could make cool Facebook videos. Well, the money's in the computers, so we're making the computers because, you know, we're a business and we have to keep the, keep the lights on. 
if there was some money in the videos, you know, maybe maybe that moves the needle a little bit. So help me do that experiment today. Um, I just want you to go ridiculously heavy on the clicks today on Facebook. If you're not watching on Facebook right now, if you have a Facebook account, if you could go to facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations, and it especially the, the reach is the biggest metric. How many people saw the program? If you can click on share for me and spread that far and wide, that would make the biggest difference for us, and we can actually gauge. And I'll share with you next week, you know, what we got, you know, as far as monetization. So it's like if we're getting bajillions of dollars, well, then, oh, yeah, you know, we'll hire a videographer to make more more content and cool stuff. Uh, if we get a nickel, you know, then we'll tell you oh, this. If you get invited to the Facebook program, don't get too excited, and you'll get a nickel. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. Thank you for your help with that. We're going to take a quick break here. But, guys, when we come back, there's all kinds of stories, as I mentioned, about AI destroying the world. Um, I've got a story for you today about a company that is using artificial intelligence right now. This is something you can install on your PC right now that could change your life. And I'm going to share it with you coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovation's solid-state laptops are engineered locally for speed and reliability you just can't get from the major national brands. Each of our laptops starts off with an ASUS chassis. We remove the stock drives and memory and upgrade them with higher-performing components. This unlocks the full potential of the laptop, making the unit up to 25% faster. This is why Schrock's solid-state laptops last so much longer than the competition. If your laptop starts out 25% faster, that means means over time it doesn't slow down nearly as fast if you can dream it schrock interactive's website developers can make it happen refresh your website automate sales and marketing and grow your business today with schrock interactive when your computer has a warranty and you have a problem don't call the manufacturers for help call schrock innovations Schrock will contact HP, Dell, Asus, Samsung, or any other manufacturer to arrange a warranty repair at no cost to you. We know how these companies work. We know the loopholes and the tricks to get your system repaired under warranty as quickly as possible. Even so, manufacturers can take up to 21 days to fix your computer. We'll give you the option of a fast local repair in one of our service centers or provide you with a loaner laptop to use while you wait. We can even back up your data before we ship your computer, just in case the warranty fix includes a hard drive wipe. Schrock tests your computer when it comes back from repair to ensure the problem was solved properly and all of your hardware works like new. There's a reason Schrock Innovations is consistently voted the best in town. Whenever you need help, wherever you need it, Schrock Innovations makes your computer work for you. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with four locations to help you out. If you're shopping for technology this holiday season, if your technology doesn't want to work for you, well, we can be quite persuasive with it. Uh, we have our Lincoln location, the OG Schrock Innovations, just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road in Lincoln. In Omaha, 168th and Burke Street, across the street from the Village Point Mall, where the rent is slightly cheaper, I believe still. Um, every year it gets more expensive, but I think we're still slightly cheaper. We haven't moved yet, so I don't know. I'm not a big fan of malls because, for Schrock anyway because, okay, you're going to carry your computer in for us to work on it. So you're going to park in a parking field and carry your computer like 40 yards into the – no, I'm sure it's fine. Nothing will go wrong there. Yeah, it's stupid. We want front door parking for you. We, that's one of the things we look for in a location. In uh, – Papillion, 84th and Highway 370 in the Midlands Place Shopping Center. That's just across the street from the fancy new Sarpy County Jail and Mental Health System uh, building. You know, so it, it's, a, it's a fancy little building that I've never seen the inside of and hope I never do. Uh, also, <laughs> they actually had an open house and they said, this is your one opportunity to come inside and see the inside, you know, on your own terms. Um, it was kind of a funny thing. I, I didn't go. Um, <laughs> and then in Des Moines... Uh, 9500 University Avenue, uh, just on the border of uh, West Des Moines and Waukee there. And, uh, of course, all the locations except Des Moines are open uh, Monday through, well, seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 10 to 8, Sunday from noon to 5. Des Moines is closed just like Chick-fil-A on Sundays and uh, only open till 6, a little bit different there. Uh, we have a couple. We have an employee actually transferring to Des Moines, plus another new hire starting there, so we're going to get those those hours probably normed out here for you in the, you know, the first quarter of next year. So they're all the same again. That would be really nice. 888-250-2091. Gary, welcome to the program. How can I help you on Compute This? Yes, uh, I bought a uh, 
a, a, a holiday special. And um, I have a question about the transfer of the software to the hard drive. Okay. And um, when I got home, I, I wasn't able to, uh, to get the uh, transferred files that, well, particularly I was looking for uh, software that I had on the older computer that I, I for uh, 10 years or more. Okay. And um, is it is it such that the uh, software that's on the computer that's older is too out, much out of date for Wind 11? You know, that's a great question, Gary. So we have two different data transfer options for you. We used to just have the one, and we just said programs can't be transferred, period, end of the story. Um, but what ended up happening is it turns, you know, we know from a technical aspect that sometimes programs can be transferred, um, but it's it's hit or miss, and you know it depends on the program you're you're moving, and so it's a lot to explain to a customer. So that eventually, we ended up with two options. We had one option that moves programs and that's a little more expensive, and a second option that only moves your data, settings, files, things like that, and that one's a little less expensive. Um, there are some applications that. That, that receive security updates. And they only receive security updates for a period of time. And after that, the company, Microsoft usually, stops putting out security updates. And after that happens, uh, they turn off the activation servers. So even if you install the product on the new computer, you can't activate it because w people don't understand a lot of times because it used to be back in the day, you buy a piece of software, you get the discs, and you're like, I own the disc. Just like if you buy a DVD movie, you're like, I own the movie. You don't own the movie. You own a license to put that disc in a DVD player and watch the movie in your home. You can't put it on a screen at a drive-in theater, for example, and broadcast it for, you know, from making money with people's enjoyment. You, you can only use it in your home. There's restrictions. Well, now that we're in the digital age where you don't actually get the physical product, those restrictions are all enforced. So, in other words, Microsoft says you, you're going to buy this copy of Microsoft Office. You're going to get security updates for five years. And after that, there's no more security updates. The program will continue to run on your computer, but you won't be able to install it on a new computer after that. So if you had, for example, a copy of Microsoft Office from 2010, that is obsolete. You, if we, you know, Technically, yes, we could install it on your computer, and we might even be able to activate it. But if we do those things... We're, we're giving you a product that has known security vulnerabilities that are going to allow bad guys to get into your computer. And our job is to make your technology work and to keep you safe. So what we're going to, we're going to tell you every time is I wouldn't transfer that program because it's not safe. I would install the new version of that program, Microsoft Office you know, 2021. Here's what it costs. Here's the software. You can buy it or you can do the 365 and pay every year for it if you want to, however you want to do it. But we'll do it however you want. Uh, what was the program specifically that you were trying to get transferred? Adobe, uh, Adobe or uh, uh, Act, uh, it was in design yeah. software, graphic software that I was paying a fee on, and that's not software of Microsoft. Okay, so if it was Adobe software, uh, Adobe has gone to a full subscription model now. There is no such thing as, as buying the Adobe software anymore and installing it on your computer and getting disks and all that stuff. Everything is yeah. a subscription now. So if you have a subscription to the Adobe software, we, that, that would be an example of software that we wouldn't transfer to the new computer. We would install the Adobe Control Center where we would log into your Adobe account and then install your Adobe software on the new computer directly from Adobe because that's the best way to do it. So if that didn't get done and you paid for a data transfer that moved programs, uh, which was like 285 instead of uh, 150 um, so yeah, two eighty five. Yeah, so if you paid the two eighty five and you didn't get the Adobe program transferred, it's possible that the guys just didn't they didn't realize that you had a subscribed Adobe product on the old computer. They should have caught that. If they didn't, I apologize, but that's something that we can do over the Schrock desk for you. So what we have to do is we have to get you logged into the Adobe Control Center with your username, which is usually your email, and your password, which you set up in the Adobe software. If we need to reset it, we can do that, and then we can install all the Adobe software that you have paid for on the new computer that you're subscribed to. Yeah, and that's where I have a little problem. I tried to contact uh, Adobe, and um, they needed uh, my email. had changed during the time, and mm. so uh, it, we didn't quite get connected up that way. So, An amazing thing happens, though, when you cancel subscriptions or dispute them on your credit card. 
Um, you can usually set up a new one with your new you – dis- dispute the transaction on your card. Um, you can usually do that within 90 days of the charge, and they're going to charge you monthly. And it costs the business 25 bucks every time you dispute a charge. So when they're charging you like 30 bucks a month and you dispute it, it – like I said, when we do a, a secure update or renewal and a customer you know, forgets that they have a subscription because it's been a year and they don't get the email because it went to promotionals and they're like, what is this charge from Schrock for $30? And they just dispute it rather than calling us. Yeah, that hurts, especially because after they dispute it, we call them and we say, hey, this is what this is. Did you, did you not want this anymore? If you don't, that's fine. And you know, we, we can end your subscription and end your protection. Uh, you won't have protection anymore. Uh, but you know you won't get charged either, and they're like, "Oh no, I need the protection. Let's keep it going." Well, then you know, then they they let the charge go. We still get hit with the twenty five dollar fee, so we got five bucks for that year's subscription instead of thirty. You know, so um, businesses really, really, really don't like it when you dispute things. They're not going to charge you multiple times if you start disputing it. So if Adobe can't get you access to your account because your email changed, just end that subscription entirely. Whether you can do that over the phone with Adobe. Or if you can just dispute it on your credit card if you have to, that will end the subscription and then you can start a new one. And as long the only the only thing you risk there is if you have files saved with Adobe. But if you have your old computer still, we can access those files and download them and transfer them manually for you. So we can still help you get through it uh, and get you set up with a new account with your current email address and everything. But that would be the right way to do it. If you can't get access to the old account, we'll have to get you a subscription for the new account. Thanks for the call, Gary. I appreciate you joining us on the program. That's probably why I didn't get transferred because they couldn't they couldn't access your Adobe account. 888-250-2091, 402-558-1110 inside the metro area. Now, this is a story that that, that made me smile because everything you hear about AI is how it's going to take your job and, you know, ruin the world and we're all going to be slaves to techno serfdom and everything else. This story is a real world example of a real company giving you software that you can install on your PC right now. This is available today that solves one of the greatest problems of the modern computing era for you automatically in real time, all the time. Doritos has made a program for your computer. Yes. The company that makes those delicious chips Doritos has made a program for your computer. The Doritos crunch killer will remove the crunching sound of you eating Doritos from the audio input on your computer. So if you are a gamer and you're playing and you have the headset on with the microphone and everyone's tired of hearing <laughs> while, you're, while you're playing, this, this software will filter your audio from your microphone to remove the crunching sounds. Or if you're on a Zoom call and you turn the camera off and you forget to mute the microphone and everyone's talking and you're like, and people are like, what is that noise? And you're like, oh, gosh, that was me. That was awful. Um, It'll remove the audio from your Zoom call of you crunching your Doritos. And what they did is Doritos hired a thousand people to sit in front of microphones and chew chips. And they recorded all the sounds of people's different mouths and things, chewing the chips. Some people chew aggressively. Some people chew with their mouth open. Some people are mouth breathers. You know, it's just all the different ways you can eat a Doritos chip. They recorded all the sounds, fed it into an AI model, and it filters out the sounds. And it turns out it works on just about any crunchy snack. Crunching is crunching, apparently. The the guy that wrote the story, and we'll link to this on our Facebook page also, but the guy that wrote the story said, I even tried, he said, and it was a pretty convincing fake crunch sound, he thought. You know, he he tried to, you know, he was like into the microphone and uh, the AI was like, "Uh, that was obviously your mouth. So we're just going to let that stupid noise go through because you probably meant for that to go through. So everybody heard that fake crunch, but the real crunches, he said it literally removed them perfectly from the audio. So as somebody in the radio industry, you know, a couple times during the show here, I got a frog in my throat and I've had to hit the mute button while I cough and clear my throat a little bit because the last thing you guys want to hear is, (coughs) you know, all the time. Instead, you'd rather like this when I mute myself, just like that, you see, and then you don't hear it. What if I had an AI that could automatically remove coughing sounds or sneezes or Roger's chair squeak from from the program? Wouldn't that be cool, right? So I don't know. It's it's just another use. You can install this Doritos software on your computer. You change your microphone input to the Doritos crunch killer, and then any crunching sounds that go through your microphone that are legitimate crunching sounds. doesn't even have to be Doritos could be any, any chips, any popcorn, any crunchy things. I, want, I bet it works on carrots or apples if you really wanted to. 
don't know, the snap of an apple the same as a crunch? I don't know. We, should, we could find out. We could test that. Well, they won't go through on your audio calls or, you know, any of the audio that you do on your computer. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. A, uh, a funny, positive use of artificial intelligence brought to you by Doritos. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. We're going to take a quick break, guys. When we come back, I'm going to give you a quick update on Drive Advisor. I know that sounds super exciting. Like, wow, I cannot wait. I'm just going to stay tuned to hear all about Drive Advisor. Guys, there, I mentioned I had a hard drive in my computer that went from 100% health to 27% health overnight. It was a solid state hard drive. How does that happen? Well, it turns out the way that solid state hard drives operate are so radically different from the way mechanical hard drives operate that we have to we had to create a different algorithm to measure their health. The old drive advisor measures all the health of all the drives the same way because solid state hard drives were when we came up with that the original the OG drive advisor in like 2015, you know, solid state hard drives were still super expensive and very few people had them. Now everybody's got them. Like nobody sells mechanical hard drives anymore. Well, we need to drive advisor 2.0 to treat solid state hard drives the way they need to be treated so we can measure their health accurately. So that was the big reason for the delay on, on this. We had to change a lot of stuff. And I want to go over what we changed, how it's going to work, what it's going to measure, and how you're going to get it on your computer coming up next on Compute This. Everyone has experienced some form of data loss or know someone who has. It's unfortunate, but sometimes the technology we rely on simply fails. And the last question you want to hear at that time is, you have a backup, right? When your hard drive, memory card, backup drive, or flash drive fails you, turn to the data recovery experts at Shrock Innovations to get those pictures, songs, and memories back. You know, not all data recovery companies are the same. Having the right tools and knowledge to get the job done right on the first attempt makes all the difference between a successful recovery and the permanent loss of your important data. Sometimes you only get one shot at a successful recovery. That's why Schrock has invested in top-of-the-line recovery imagers, a Class 100 clean environment, over 10,000 donor components, and a staff of recovery engineers that are the best in the business. Schrock has a 96% recovery rate, getting data back from failed devices. When the unthinkable happens and you need your data back, turn to the experts at Schrock Innovations for professional and affordable data recovery services. Drive Advisor is a free program from Schrock Innovations that monitors your hard drive health and tells you if it's going bad. Download it for free at driveadvisor.com. Laptops are subjected to some of the most stressful computing situations imaginable. They get dropped, stepped on, slapped shut, and pushed until the battery dies sometimes. Your laptop works hard for you, so when it has a problem, take it to the laptop experts at Schrock Innovations. Schrock has four convenient service centers in Nebraska and Iowa, with more than 100 total bench spots to get your technology up and running again. Schrock has the largest supply of replacement components in stock, and we fix more laptops than any other nearby repair center. Why wait weeks to get your computer fixed when Schrock can diagnose the problem, provide you with a friendly and accurate estimate, and fix it usually in two days or less? Remember, if you have never been into our service centers before, new customers get their first hour of labor free. So the next time your laptop screen gets cracked, the keys pop off your keyboard, or your two-year-old decides a glass of milk is exactly what your laptop needs to cool off, take it to Schrock and let your local laptop repair experts get it back in top shape again. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. Boy, the shower is just flying by. Want to remind everybody to uh, to tune in to the After Schrock um, I had some crazy meetings and I've really debated whether I wanted to share some of these meetings on the air because, you know, you, you talk, talk about money to people and, and income and the numbers and everyone's numbers are different, right? Um, the numbers are different for somebody who's, a, you know, social security recipient at home and a business owner. Their numbers are completely different and what they need to protect their families is completely different. I sat down with a team of uh, financial advisors and insurance people and attorneys, and we have a special needs little kiddo that, you know, when we're, we're gone, you know, what's going to happen to her? And so, you know, we need to make, we need to put some plans in place so that she's taken care of after we're gone. And so you start looking at all this stuff and, you know, most people are like lucky if they have a will, you know, <laughs> or a trust or like a living trust or something like that, or a will, you know, and a lot of people don't even go do that because it's just like, you know, what's the point? 
Um, I wanted to share some of this stuff with you because I don't know. It depends where everybody is at. And the reason I hesitate is because, you know, some people are in the must be nice, you know, and it's like must be nice to have to worry about that. Hmm. And you're just like, you know, you, you feel bad. You know, I look at people like Elon Musk and I'm like, he's he's inspirational to me. Like, I'm like, I want to be the guy launching rockets into space like that. That is awesome. Do you know that he launches 90 percent of all the satellites for planet Earth? Yes, for all countries, 90% of the satellites that go into orbit are launched on SpaceX rockets. Now, you can feel however you want to feel about him with Twitter and everything else, but you cannot argue that the guy is not flipping brilliant. Um, he's, the, he's probably the most successful African-American to ever live in America. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize he is from South Africa. He is an African-American, even though he's white. It's <laughs> People get a little testy when you call them African American. Sometimes it's kind of funny. So yeah, if you ever want to, if you ever want to be controversial, you can hit that one. Um, so in the aftershock today, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that was discussed in those meetings because nobody taught me this. This wasn't on my radar, not at all. And I feel like even though it doesn't apply to everybody, if it applies to you in some way, that knowing how to do this will make your children's lives better will make your grandchildren's lives better and their children's lives and can set up a generational prosperity that, you know, you don't get to enjoy because you know, you have to die to get it. <laughs> Life insurance is great. But, uh, but going forward, you know, if your dad would have done this for you and if his dad would have done this for him, you would have had a completely different track in your life. Options would have been open. Doors would have been open for you that otherwise wouldn't have been. And this is something that like, farmers in Nebraska and Iowa are doing to transform the future, the future generations, the future farming generations. So you don't have to rely on banks when you want to buy a new combine or a tractor. You just, you have the money to do it. You lend it to yourself. It's pretty, it was pretty a mind blowing stuff. And so I don't want to blow everybody's head up, but I do want to talk about that on the aftershock. So stay tuned for that at facebook.com slash shock innovations. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. If you take your financial advice from the computer repair guy, you get exactly what you deserve. A really good working computer and no money. 402-558-1110, uh, number to join us uh, locally here. Of course, if you're outside the metro area, 888-250-2091. Stay tuned. Coming up on the program, guys, we're going to also tell you about a new version of iOS that's come out. This is the operating system for your iPhone and iPad and your Apple Watch. All of them have updates. All of them need updates. Uh, long story short, do the update, but I'll tell you what it's going to cover coming up next on the program. But first, before we get to that, I want to give you a quick update on Drive Advisor. I mentioned um, that I was doing some some hard drive based crypto mining at home, just playing around with stuff, um, you know, hobby kind of things, not not like money making stuff. So all you crypto hit cats out there, don't be like, "Ooh, what's the word doing?" I'm farming chia. It's it's a joke. The chia coin sells for thirty bucks. I can generate like three coins a month with you know two hundred and fifty terabytes of hard drive storage. So yeah, it's not something that the average person would enjoy doing, but it's technically fun. So I, I like to do it. How many hard drives can I get going on a computer? Can there's twenty six letters in the alphabet? Can you put twenty seven hard drives on a computer? Hmm. You know, <laughs> how many can I do? So you, you start getting into all these questions, right? Well, the computer that I had running my my chia farm. It inexplicably in the middle of the afternoon on Saturday just went black screen, just whew, stopped working. I got an offline alert in my email that my farm was offline, went downstairs and the computer was on. The hard drives were all powered up. The screen was black and I couldn't get the computer to wake up. You probably had this happen to you before, right? So what's the first thing you do? I hit reset. Well, reset the computer, push the reset button and it rebooted and it just it did not boot to Windows like it just spun and spun and spun forever and never loaded windows. And I thought, well, that's really weird. So what's the next thing you do? You power it all the way down, power cycle it, pull the power plug out of the back. I'm running like 26 hard drives. So maybe it's a power issue. Maybe the power supply is starting to go. There's all these thoughts going through my head, plug it back in again, power it back up and it boots to windows. I'm like, okay, Hey, that was a weird fluke, right? An hour later, I get an email in my inbox, just like you would get in your inbox if this happened to your computer. That says Drive Advisor has detected the hard drive in your Chia farm, name of the computer, has dropped the C drive, has dropped to 27% health. You should replace this drive immediately. Like, yeah, no bleep, Dick Tracy. Oh, my gosh. that uh, That's uh, quite the drop in health from 100% to zero or to 27. Like, zero is the next stop, right? 
So, you know, I go into the service center and I get myself a replacement hard drive and I go back home and I hook it all up and I'm cloning the hard drive on my, my other computer. And I started this clone on this hard drive yesterday before dinner. This morning, it's 36% complete. It's a 450 gigabyte solid state drive. It should have cloned in like 10 minutes. This drive is very, very, very sick. How did the hard drive go from, I'm going to have to take it into the data recovery lab and, and do my own data recovery on my own hard drive. It's stupid. How did this hard drive go from completely healthy to completely shot in one afternoon? Like someone flipped a switch. Well, the answer is it didn't. Solid state hard drives wear differently than mechanical drives. So the way Drive Advisor works with mechanical hard drives, it reads the data on the drive, and when bad things happen to the drive, it is reported in the smart notifications that drive lost power, drive lost capacity, you know, there was an error reading it, you know, things like that, and all those things are mathematically added together to give you a health percentage. And if your health percentage goes from 100% to 99%, if you've heard me describe this before, it's the equivalent of a hard drive heart attack in human terms, and you need to replace the drive. Now, with a solid-state drive, it's completely possible for the hard drive to go from 100% to 99% health and be completely fine. Go to seven, you, know, you get down to like 90%, completely fine. Get down to 85%, completely fine. Get under 80%, uh, we're starting to see some significant wear here. This is going to have some symptoms now. Uh, we're going to see the hard drive slowing down. We're going to see loss of capacity. We're going to see weird black screens and things happen. Lockups, like what I experienced as the hard drive deteriorates. So how do we measure that in Drive Advisor? We needed to come up with a different algorithm to measure health because everybody, every, all, all of our customers using Drive Advisor know that when that health, health on the hard drive goes from 100% to 99, that means your hard drive is bad. But that's not true with solid state drives. So now we're going to have a bunch of people, most of our customers have solid state drives now, who get the new drive advisor and they're going to see the health of their hard drives go from 100% under old drive advisor to 95% in new drive advisor. And they're all going to think their hard drives are bad. Even though drive advisor is still going to have a healthy heart symbol next to it, and it's not going to send an alert. I wanted to let everybody know when you automatically get upgraded to the new drive advisor, which will probably happen sometime next week, once we do final testing on everything, that if your health drops on your solid state hard drive, we don't get concerned about it until it drops below 80%. That's when you're going to get an alert, when it drops below 80%. Because this, this wear level, it's a measure of how many times the hard drive's storage cells, if you will, have been used to store data. Because the manufacturer rating on the drive says you can use the cells X number of times before they're worn out. And there's a lot of different you know, cells on the hard drive, right? So if your hard drive is only half full, that leaves half the space on the drive, and it will load level. It'll use all the whole, all the cells equally over that huge expanse of hard drive to minimize the wear on any individual cell. But let's say your hard drive gets 80% full or more, 85%, 90% full. We see this a lot on less expensive computers, especially that have smaller hard drives. Well, then it only has, you know, eight or 10 gigabytes to use for load leveling. And those cells just get the tar beaten out of them. And it causes the hard drive to fail really quickly. So the more full your hard so you're going to get an alert if your hard drive goes over 80% capacity. So you need a bigger hard drive. Your hard drive is going to wear out real fast if you don't get a bigger hard drive. So those are some of the differences you're going to see with Drive Advisor. Also, if you have a laptop, you're going to see Battery Advisor as part of this. It's going to actually report back the health of the battery. Similar situation. If your battery health goes from 100% to 99%, it's nothing to get concerned about. You drop below 80% you're going to start to notice your battery doesn't last as long as it used to, or your battery is going to start to swell, or you're, you're going to notice weird things like the recharge. It recharges really quickly, but then discharges down really fast. So you're going to notice weird things with your battery if it drops below 80% health. Drive Advisor is also going to notify you about that stuff as well. So be on the lookout for this. Uh, I don't have an exact date for you yet, but the, uh, the, the lead developer for Drive Advisor is getting married on December 16th. So we kind of have a hard deadline. We want to release it the week before he leaves for his wedding. So he has a full week to troubleshoot any concerns that pop up after release. But I need to do some final testing just to make sure that it's good to go. And I have the perfect computer to test it on now that has over 26 hard drives on it with a bad C drive. Isn't that something? 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. Final break of the program. Coming up next, 
Terry, we're going to get to your call. We're also going to tell you about the new iOS update you need to install on your device and why it's so important coming up next on Compute This. Remember the good old days when virus detection worked like, where's Waldo? Spot the virus in the striped shirt and you win. Today's infections are changing hourly to avoid detection and use social engineering to trick you into making mistakes. Using yesterday's security to defend against today's threats is like using leeches to stop an infection. It just doesn't work. We recommend Sophos Intercept X, antivirus backed by Shrox, virus-free guarantee. Sophos uses the power of AI to detect the patterns of a virus attack and responds with Shrox custom actions that stop it fast. With Sophos on your PC, Mac, Android, or iOS device, you get the state-of-the-art protection you need to defend against the most advanced attacks out there. In fact, if your device gets a virus while running Sophos antivirus, Shrock will remove it for free, guaranteed. It hasn't happened yet, and we intend to keep it that way. Ditch your dad's antivirus and keep your device, data, and identity safe with Sophos and Schrock Innovations. Schrock Innovations Data Recovery Lab saves the data the other guys can't. The next time your hard drive, camera card, or flash drive fails, let Schrock get your data back. You know your computer needs modern antivirus, and you know using a VPN helps protect your identity online. But did you know that all of that protection could be useless if you're running outdated programs? We all run common free software like Adobe Reader, Dropbox, Firefox, and Chrome. Every day there are critical security updates for these common programs that don't get automatically installed for up to two weeks. That's an eternity in today's world. That's why Schrock created Secure Updater. Secure Updater checks for and installs these critical updates every eight hours boosting your antivirus by closing off attack vectors before they can be used to penetrate your computer. Go to secureupdater.com and try it for free. We are so confident in our product, we don't even ask for a credit card to start the trial. Go to secureupdater.com today and start your 14-day trial and enjoy having the peace of mind that your software is being updated quickly and safely. You will be shocked at the number of programs that are out of date on your PC right now. Get your 14-day free trial at secureupdater.com. All righty, guys, welcome back in final segment. I got two minutes here, so I got to roll really fast. So first off, thank you for viewing on facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Thank you for helping me the, with the, the test we're doing. If you didn't hear this before, if you could really quickly, if you have a Facebook account, please go to facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Like the live broadcast, make a comment, you know, anything that you can do that you can interact, especially share it though. That's the most important thing is to share it with your friends and family members because reach is the most important thing. Facebook has a new monetization thing and we have no idea how much it pays. And so we're going to do our best to see it. This is if Thor begs people to do all this stuff and doesn't really give them anything for doing it, but just says, on faith, please help us out. Let's do a test and see if this generates a nickel or if this generates five bucks or if this generates a hundred dollars. And if it generates enough money, we could actually create some additional content for Facebook that could be really cool, exclusive to Facebook to kind of encourage people to interact with the channel. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. I want to test it out. So thank you for doing that and being a part of that. I really appreciate it. If you, if you're not listening or viewing on Facebook right now, if you can open your phone up, facebook.com slash rock innovations, just hit share, hit like, just let, let everybody know, or, you know, interact with the program. We'll be good to go. Terry, welcome to the show. How can I help you on compute this? Uh, good morning. Morning. Um, I have a, uh, uh, Chromebook. And uh, my laptop, uh, the hard drive went out, and you said uh, uh, I paid you $135 mm-hmm. to find out that uh, uh, it was dead. All right, I, I got to so, run. I'm sorry. I'm up against a hard break here. We're ending the show. I got to go. I'll take your call off the air, though. Congratulations, Gary. You're the winner of the Shrock Innovation. From the Amish Furniture of Nebraska Studio. With locations in Grand Island, Elkhorn, and now Lincoln. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB Omaha. And iHeart Radio Station.